name's Sarah Vance with Rebalance Life. I'm a mom and a nutritionist, so I know it's not always easy to get our kids to eat their fruits and veggies. One of our favorite tools is a smoothie. I'm going to show you one of our favorite smoothies today. So it's very common for toddlers to start to get a little picky with what they're eating. And I know parents can worry so much about getting good nutrition into them. Smoothies are one of the best ways to do it. I'm going to show you how to make a really easy and delicious smoothie for a toddler that has a lot of good superfoods in it. We're going to start with about half a cup of coconut water. You could just use any other kind of liquid if you don't have coconut water. You could even use rice milk, almond milk. We're just going to use just a little bit of pomegranate juice just for color, not even a quarter cup. And again though, smoothies are not fussy. You can, you know, make this to fit your, your child's needs even better. And then we're going to add about, just about a third of a cup of frozen blueberries. Blueberries are a wonderful superfood. They've got lots of antioxidants, good source of fiber. And because we're using a nice dark fruit like blueberries, we can sneak in some spinach. And this is baby spinach. Baby spinach doesn't really have much flavor. You could even use baby kale, um, whatever leafy green vegetable you have on hand. And we've got, you know, about a half a cup here. That's quite a significant amount of spinach. And then we're gonna put, you could put whatever you like, um, a little bit of yogurt. This is about a quarter cup of yogurt. I use plain unsweetened yogurt. And depending on if you're, you could use full fat yogurt or low fat, whatever your doctor recommends. And then we've got just about, maybe about a teaspoon here. Let's measure that out of chia seed. And chia seed is really important for our little kids' brain development. It's an omega-3 fatty acid. It's gonna help with their eye development. It's such a great superfood. And this is a vegan source of omega-3s. If you wanna give it a little bit more, um, make it a little more substantial, you could put just a little bit of protein powder in. Again, about a teaspoon of vanilla protein powder. You could use whey, pea protein, whatever you like. And then we're gonna do a pinch of Himalayan pink sea salt. And that pink color comes from all the amazing minerals that are naturally occurring in air-dried salts. And this is found up in the Himalayan mountains and it's found to have so many health-giving qualities and it helps to rehydrate our bodies. So we've got all of our delicious and superfood ingredients in there. We're gonna just start blending. And if you want it a little thicker, you could just add a little less liquid or a little more frozen fruit or some more ice. And we're just going to pour it right into the cup. Oh, pull out any chunks just in case you get a chunk in there. And there you have it. A delicious blueberry smoothie for a toddler that won't even know that there's spinach in there. Mm -hmm.